iconic people and iconic hair looks. They're not iconic in five minutes, you know. Hi, my name's Sam McKnight and I'm here today with Al and we're gonna talk through some of my most iconic looks. This cover is not only my very first L cover, but the very first cover of L UK that was ever printed. So it's the inaugural issue of L UK in, I believe, November 1985. And the lovely model is a very young Yasmin Le Bon. I had worked with Yasmin many times before then, and I went on to do a few more L covers, um, quite a few with Yasmin, with Helena, with Naomi, with, with all the girls really in that period. We had a lot of wind machines in there, so it was a very sporty French L kind of editorial, that shot. Bella Hadid, the lovely Bella. This was Bella's very first time she walked for Vivian Westwood. Bella's been a big fan of Vivian for a long time. She wears a lot of um, vintage Vivian. And I think she asked Vivian if she could be in the show. So of course, absolutely, of course she could be in the show. And I think this look is really great on Bella. Bella suits a small head. And with that big, white, f beautiful, fluffy wedding dress on, we gave Bella this modernized version of a Regency role. Uh, with a ponytail in the back, so it was quite masculine in a way. I love this picture. She brings a sensuality and a modernity to a look that nobody else does. Kate the Great. Um, I've worked with Kate Moss for quite a long time. Uh, we've done many, many, many iconic looks. This picture is something we did last year. We worked on a an underwear campaign for Kim Kardashian's brand Skims. Now, and I think that really surprised everyone when it came out, the collaboration with Kate and Kim. But it was actually mutually incredibly beneficial to both because they broke, both brought something unexpected to the table. The underwear is absolutely brilliant. And Kate was amazing and she looks fantastic. She looks superb these days. So I was really thrilled to be a part of that. And uh, it's always great with Kate to do that sort of tousled hair that she's famous for because she loves it and she lives it and it brings the whole picture to life. And I think Kate's look has now been imprinted into the psyche of quite a few generations. So, I mean, now there's a true icon. This <laughs> lovely photo, I actually love it. I want a print of that, Dave Bennett, please. Thank you very much. This is, I remember, at the British Fashion Awards. And it was that same season, I think, when Naomi infamously took a tumble from her Vivian Westwood shoes in the show. And actually, Yasmin Le Bon and I were watching the monitor backstage. And when, when her leg sort of, her leg really bent, it really twisted her ankle, we thought, Oh my God, what's going to happen? And we thought, we thought, oh God, she's broken her ankle. But she laughed and stood up and marched on. And that, that's another thing that became truly iconic. And the shoes became iconic because it, the, uh, the clip from the show, I remember, was used in a commercial for an insurance company. And Naomi earned even more money. So... You know, it don't make a drama out of a crisis. Yeah, it was fantastic because those shoes are now in the V&A Museum. It's a real iconic moment. And I was goofing around here. I wasn't in the habit of licking Naomi's shoes. Ah, uh, Princess Diana at the Met Gala in 96. It was a massive charity event. It wasn't the usual thing for a such a high-ranking um, royal to walk the red carpet. Um, but I guess she sensed that times were changing. It was the first time uh, Galliano for Dior dress was making an outing, so she was the first one to wear it. So it's, it's that sort of lovely navy blue and black creation she's wearing. And, and I think for me, because I'd spent so much time in New York and I knew how the New York sort of people were, um, it was important that she was kind of simple classic, um, almost 
90s supermodel in her look. That sort of healthy, fantastic, um, glowing hair, glowing skin, fantastically toned body. Yeah, it was all about, you know, showing her best to New York. This photo is Gigi and Kendall in a Balmain show where we swapped the hair. We made Kendall blonde and we made Gigi dark um, and it was kind of dubbed on social media the, the, the hair swap. Obviously we used wigs um, because they were not going to get their hair swapped in real life. Um, so it was important to me that the wigs looked like their natural hair. That was a lot of work. There was a lot of hanging around. Well, they look a bit glum in this photo, but they both managed to leave with their wigs on and go to a party afterwards. So I'm presuming there wasn't a problem. This image is of myself and a very young Christy Turlington. It was mid 1980s, so there were doing a lot of big hair going around. We always had lots of Polaroids in the studio at all times. So we took a lot of Polaroids. And that's one of my favorite ones. Because those Polaroid moments are the precursor to the selfies we have now, because we used to take Polaroids of ourselves. We used to hold the camera up and take Polaroids of ourselves, take Polaroids of each other, just goofing around in the makeup room. And I have lots of those Polaroids and they're, they're, um, they're very special. They're quite intimate. I love that. Uh, this photo was a spectacular Fendi couture show, which was a tribute to Karl Lagerfeld because it was the first Fendi couture that Karl hadn't designed. Uh, so what they did is they went through his archive and they actually took his designs from that. And actually on, on a couple of the archive pictures, there was the sort of 70s bob. So we took the inspiration from that but what we did to modernize it, we did 54 of those bobs and we colored them all in matching tones to the outfits. Now the outfits were all colored, um, inspired by Roman marble. So it was all different tones of marble. And this one on Kaya Gerber, is sort of various pink tones of marble. I mean, they were all made for each girl and each outfit. So they were all custom made. And I think that one was my favorite. Kaya loved her pink bob and she really wanted to wear it home, but we couldn't give it to her because all the hair was part of the outfit. And so when Fendi had to do trunk shows or, you know, press, they needed the whole thing. So sadly, we couldn't give it to her. This is one of my favorite looks um, from Ashish. This is from the Autumn Winter 2020 show. And we had been looking at clips from the movie Sweet Charity with Shirley MacLaine. And this look was inspired by the dance sequences from that. It's an incredibly graphic, 60s iconic look and we recreated that with a lot of work a lot of braids with a lot of wire inside so they could be bent into shape and then glass beads were kind of hung almost like they were in a cage so the whole thing was like a piece of architecture on the head rather heavy at the same time so there you have it some of my most iconic looks thank you very much for watching